Welcome to decorative-antiques.com. This is our second video talking about Glasgow and today we're specifically going to be talking about Autumn Crocus. Now Autumn Crocus was Clarice's signature pattern which she made for an incredibly long time from 1928 right the way through into the 1960s. So a very long period but you'll find it as I point out different shapes and patterns that uh, it differed from one era to another. Starting off with an absolutely fantastic little teapot. This is a teapot just for tea, two persons uh, in autumn crocus. You notice signed on the bottom with the bizarre pack stamp. Brown base. Now the brown people have asked this time and time again. The brown represents the earth and the yellow represents the sun and these wonderful crocuses coming between the two. Fabulous little teapot, painted on both sides. Something else people have asked us about is sort of dates, something like that would date nice and early from around about 1930, 31, that type of date. Clarice Cliff what loved her shapes, and this is really no exception, a fabulous conical sugar sifter. Uh, date on this, well it's got a slightly later back stamp. You'll notice this is around about 1937, the back stamp. They've uh, no longer had the word bizarre on it, but absolutely fantastic, beautifully painted. Again, lovely autumn crocus. Moving on, we have a very smart little egg cup set for four people, four little egg cups. Now, if you look at the bottom of this one, it's got a gold back stamp to it. So this is quite later on. It can be, in fact, after the war. So possibly as late 1940s through into the 50s. But what a fantastic little egg cup set. Cups and saucers. There's pretty much nothing which uh, Clarice didn't bring into her range. This uh, particular shape is called Athens. So don't forget that not only do uh, Clarice Cliff have names for the patterns, but also names for the shapes as well. So this particular one is called Athens shape. Great teacup and saucer, again beautifully painted. Uh, date on that one, where it's going to be around about 1930, 1931, that type of date. Moving along, still stick with the uh, breakfast theme. This is an absolutely fabulous little toast rack for four pieces of toast. Nicely painted, and can you imagine how difficult it is to get this absolutely spot on? These girls. The quality of their work, the quality of their painting, absolutely phenomenal. Beautifully painted top, again the yellow running along the top, representing the sunshine. She was the sunshine girl. This is uh, also really unusual. When she uh, first started work, there was a tremendous amount of pottery which was uh, already made up but hadn't been painted. Now this is a very good example of an early piece of her work. Very, very unusual shape. I'll show you a shape which is, uh, she used more popularly afterwards, but uh, obviously something which she inherited and then chose to, to uh, paint. So very interesting early work. You've got the brown quite high, so the, a very, very small band of autumn crocus. Uh, I suppose the date on that's going to be around about 1928, 1929. Here's a more typical little uh, milk jug done by her in the tankard shape. Uh, date on that one is going to be, with a bit bizarre back stamp, 1931, 1932, that type of date. Um, moving slightly along, this is nice. This is a really lovely little uh, autumn crocus, lighthouse shape, salt and pepper. And if you look behind me, you'll see also we've got the mustard to go with it. Now these are fabulous all signed on the bottom with a bizarre back stamp, very unusual um, and incredibly popular. These were also done in the conical shape, similar to the sugar shaker, so it's slightly smaller, but I haven't got any of those to show for you today. Uh, just moving along, two wonderful conical items. This is a conical bowl, uh, date on this, 1930, 1931. Fabulous decoration inside, but also painted on the fins as well, and with the bizarre back stamp and Clarice Cliff running up the side. Um, but something like that's very, very hard to come by, so that's a nice thing. And its little brother, 
which is a similar item. This one has the candle holder in the middle. So also a conical shape. Haven't got the decoration around the base, but absolutely beautifully painted. Again, the Claris Cliff signature running up the side. And then finally, we're going to end with the biggest piece. This was pretty much the largest piece of uh, China Claris Cliff ever worked on, which is a fabulous 12 inch Lotus jug. And just look at the quality of this. Wonderfully painted crocuses. Again, nicely proportioned, a little bit of decoration in the middle, and then repeated again on the reverse. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our little chat here about organ crocus, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Don't forget, it's www.decorative-antiques.com if you want to see any prices, or if you'd like to email us, we'd be very happy to explain anything. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.